Ah, first beer of the week. What's up, guys? My name is Seven Kirton of Thin Beard Reviews. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you've subbed and stuff and check out my other videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I don't say it enough. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you feel. But anyway, this is the OG Scotch Porter. This is my number one. Oh, uh, and I had like a top three video. This is this was my number one. And then this is the new one over there, Tarje. First and foremost, congratulations, Scott, Scotch Porter, to, to get into Target. That is huge. Huge. So, good job, guys. Almost unheard of. Good for you. This stuff, absolutely positively amazing. This is my number one. I will say right off the bat that um, I'm sad to see that it isn't this anymore. The smell is just so damn nice and the feeling so nice. I think they say marshmallow root or something like that. Pardon me. Pick it back up. See how it's kind of that white and kind of fluffy? Absolutely amazing. You don't need too much of it. And the new one, which is smaller by the way, that's an 8 ounce and this is a 4 ounce, but there's a, a price differential so it kind of makes up for it. It still smells really good. It's tamer, but there's a difference in color. See, it's kind of has a pink kind of khaki hue. And I've been trying it. I just got out of the shower, so I'm nice and fluffy. <laughs> but it's still really good, but it's not my top anymore, unfortunately. i got to be honest. It's just, it feels different. It feels kind of uh, cosmetic-y, and I know that's counterintuitive, but it, it feels different. It still feels good. It still kind of lingers in the scent, which I like. A lot of guys don't. I like the smell so much that I am happy that it lingers, but it feels different. Um, you know, like I'm real fluffy right now. I got absolutely nothing in my beard. Nothing at all. I just co-washed real good with this after work today. And uh, it's it's gone down a few steps. Just real top, boys. It's, the shit's gone down. And not in a good way. It's different. Still feels good. I'll still buy it but not like the other ones. And I thank God that I have a full another one of these. And that's mine. I ain't getting rid of it. Because I don't think they make the OG stuff. And if you're watching this, guys, for us OG beard guys, think about making this so we can buy this stuff too because this is the stuff. This is... Watch the reviews on this. Not only mine, but some of the biggest names in the beard community. They will have this. That's how I found out about it from Scuba and... Uh, a lot of other people, Beard Times with Scott, um, Dan C. Bearded, all the all the awesome beard guys know that this stuff's absolutely amazing. The new one, still good, but I'm going to have to drop it back quite a bit. Quite a bit. It feels different. And it's just, it's changed, boys. It is changed. Is it worth still buying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to throw it, like, off the roof and say, don't buy that shit. It's garbage. It's not. It's just not, you know, we had the top. Now we're kind of, I wouldn't say middle, but 1 to 10, I'd say it's it's about a 7 when we had a 10, a high 10. Now we have a mid 7. So, as always, I try to keep my videos short and honest. Again, my name is Seven Kirton of Thin Beard Reviews, and um, thank you for your time. If you like, please like and subscribe or dislike or whatever, you know, comment. And check out my other videos if you have the time. I really appreciate it with everything going on. Be safe. Take care of your families. And um, have a blessed day. Thanks so much, guys.